Welcome to Bible Stories, your go-to channel for insightful and enriching biblical content. I'm thrilled to have you with us today as we delve into a transformative topic, the five habits that can lead to financial prosperity as revealed in the Bible. If you're looking to enhance your financial well-being through timeless wisdom, you're in the right place. Have you ever wondered what sets prosperous individuals apart from those who struggle financially? Is your financial journey feeling stagnant despite your best efforts? Many people attribute financial success or failure to external factors like the government, the economic system, or income distribution. While these factors do have an impact, they do not wholly determine your financial destiny. Astonishingly, a significant portion of wealth building comes from adopting certain financial habits. According to a report by Ul Flux, a staggering 60% of multimillionaires accumulated their wealth through their own efforts and habits. This raises a crucial question. What drives someone to achieve prosperity? What are the key factors that can transform financial hardship into financial success? In this video, you will discover the five habits that, according to the Bible, lead to prosperity. Have you ever wondered what differentiates prosperous people from those who are not? Have you questioned why some manage to grow financially while others always face difficulties? Do you feel that your financial life is stagnant and not evolving? Although many attribute prosperity or the lack thereof to the government, the system or income distribution, it is important to highlight that these factors influence but do not determine success. According to a report by Ul Flux, 60% of multimillionaires built their fortunes through their own merit. Now the central question, what leads someone to get rich? What drives prosperity? Pay attention. Financial results are achieved through financial habits. To become wealthy, habits that lead to wealth are necessary. We are largely the result of our choices. Pay attention. Financial results are achieved through financial habits. To become wealthy, habits that lead to wealth are necessary. We are largely the result of our choices. The Bible surprisingly reveals what these enriching habits are. The Holy Scriptures indicate the paths to financial progress, and these are the habits I will present in this video. We start with an important disclaimer. The Bible does not promise financial wealth to anyone, not even to faithful Christians. This means we should not demand wealth from God for following biblical principles. However, it is undeniable that those who follow the financial principles of the scriptures are more likely to achieve spiritual, familial, and financial prosperity. In summary, by following biblical advice, you are more inclined to financial prosperity, but you should not demand this from God, nor negotiate with Him. With this clarification made, let's go to the five enriching habits according to the Bible. Habit number one, live below your means. The first enriching habit is to live with less than you earn. This means not spending everything you receive, reserving part of your earnings. This is what the Bible recommends. Remember the story of Joseph in Egypt during the seven years of abundance, followed by the seven years of scarcity. Living below their means allowed Egypt to face the scarcity and prosper in the midst of the crisis. This advice is also present in Proverbs 21.20, which says, The wise store up choice food and olive oil, but fools gulp theirs down. Unfortunately, most people do not have the habit of living below their means, spending all they earn. To prosper financially, it is essential to adopt this habit. Habit number two, have more than one source of income. The second enriching habit is to have multiple sources of income. As the saying goes, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Why shouldn't we put all our eggs in one basket? 
Because if that basket falls, we will lose all the eggs. The obvious way to minimize risks is to divide the eggs into several baskets. I know you already know this after all, almost everyone does, but knowledge is not enough. Wisdom, knowledge is not practice. I emphasize this because, unfortunately, few people apply this saying in their lives. Having only one source of income is like putting all your eggs in one basket. It doesn't matter if you have a long-term fixed employment contract or if you are an employee. It doesn't matter if you have a successful business for years. Relying on a single source of income is very dangerous. Why is it dangerous? Because jobs are not lifelong, businesses can fail, and salaries, including those of public employees, can become obsolete. Sooner or later, unexpected events will likely occur. Regarding this, see what Ecclesiastes 11.6 says, Sow your seed in the morning, and at evening let your hands not be idle, for you do not know which will succeed, whether this or that, or whether both will do equally well. Consider my advice. Cultivate the habit of having multiple sources of income. It is a habit that develops over time and is practiced daily. I have friends who have this habit, and whenever I spend time with them, I learn a lot. They reinforce the idea of creating income streams. I remember a day at a restaurant with one of these friends. We were having lunch and analyzing how the business could be improved and stabilized. We observed the cash register and suggested they should offer desserts, chocolates and sweets to the customers who had just finished lunch. We watched the customers' behavior and quickly came up with ideas on what the restaurant should offer to increase profitability. Seriously, those who have the habit of generating income streams are always seeing possibilities. Develop this habit too. Habit number three. Have an emergency fund. The third habit is to have an emergency fund. An emergency fund refers to money saved that can only be used in case of an emergency, whether it's a positive emergency, like an exchange program, or a unique business opportunity, or in seemingly negative emergencies like unemployment or health problems. I'll be honest. It surprises me that people still do not understand the enriching power of having an emergency fund. Personally, I wonder if people knew how much wealth an emergency fund brings, everyone would have one. See what the Bible says. Look at what happened in Egypt when they created an emergency fund during the seven years of abundance. All the financial power that the pharaohs had is evident. Now we have an idea through the Bible, historical records, and archaeological evidence. A significant part of this power was obtained through the emergency fund created by Joseph. Egypt's financial reserve prospered like never before. I know some will say that Egypt only created an emergency fund because they knew there would be seven years of abundance. You should create a fund only if you know there will be unforeseen events. Well, listen to me. Unforeseen events will always happen. In fact, they are expected. This is what the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 9.11. I have seen something else under the sun. The race is not to the swift or the battle to the strong, nor does food come to the wise or wealth to the brilliant or favor to the learned, but time and chance happen to them all. It doesn't matter if you serve God and follow His commandments and statutes. You are not free from unforeseen events, personal experience. If you have been following me for some time, you probably know that I became unemployed shortly after getting married. This happened right after the wedding. When I took on new financial commitments, losing my job could have ruined the lives of many. But thank God at that time, I was already familiar with the biblical teachings about an emergency fund. Thanks to God, I had already created a fund that could sustain me for more than a year. 
Thank God, it was through this fund that I could fulfill my dream of dedicating myself full-time to transforming lives through biblical teachings on finances without needing a fixed job or facing the daily chaotic traffic of my city. Habit number four, invest. Remember that the enriching habits mentioned here, such as living below your means, are one of the reasons why you should live below your means to be able to invest. It is undeniable that acquiring the habit of investing in stocks, real estate funds, fixed income, properties, businesses, or other products will allow for a much more prosperous financial life. The Bible exhorts us about investment in several instances. One such instance can be seen in the parable of the talents told by Jesus in Matthew 25. In summary, this parable tells the story of a master who distributes his wealth among his servants according to their abilities. Some servants invested what they received and multiplied their wealth, but one servant hid what he received and did not invest. When confronted about this attitude, the master said, You should have put my money on deposit with the bankers, so that when I returned, I would have received it back with interest. Matthew 25, 27 Everything we have belongs to God and He wants us to multiply the resources He entrusts to us. Yes, our spiritual, familial, and financial resources should be multiplied. I repeat, if you truly want to have a more prosperous financial life, you need to learn to invest. After all, it was decided that you could stop working for money by investing. It is through investment that you make money work for you. It is through investment that you will achieve your financial freedom. I'm not going to lie. Acquiring the habit of investing is not easy at the beginning, especially when it comes to investments and financial products. Initially, you may feel afraid to open an account, transfer money to the brokerage, or choose the financial products to invest in, whether in fixed income or variable income. My advice is not to let fear stop you from investing. Over time, you will learn, feel more secure, and the results will start to appear. Habit number five, seek wisdom. Proverbs says, Blessed is the one who finds wisdom, the one who gains understanding, for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. Proverbs 3, 13-14 the path to financial prosperity inevitably passes through wisdom. But what is wisdom? One of the best definitions of wisdom is that it is knowing how to do something knowledge put into practice. Remember well, wisdom is knowing how to do something knowledge put into practice. I want to emphasize this because knowledge alone has little value. What matters more is the practical application of knowledge. For example, many know that saving is important, but few have the wisdom to actually save. Upon hearing what I said here about the importance of living below your means, unfortunately, few will have the wisdom to do so. Proverbs 13.16 says, All who are prudent act with knowledge, but fools expose their folly. You need to acquire knowledge. And when it comes to personal finances, you need to know smart ways to make money. You need to know about passive income, emergency funds, investments, local and foreign stocks, investment funds, fixed income, and so on. But more than knowing, you need to acquire wisdom, that is, you need to put into practice what you know. Here are the five enriching habits. Live below your means, have more than one source of income, have an emergency fund, invest, and seek wisdom. I have two pieces of news for you, one good and one not so good. The good news is that each of these habits can radically improve your life. I speak from experience because I saw a significant improvement in my life with each habit I managed to acquire and implement. When I started living below my means, my life improved. 
The same happened when I started to have more than one source of income. Similarly, when I created my emergency fund, I also experienced improvements when I started investing and when I relentlessly sought financial wisdom. The not so good news is that these habits are not easy to acquire, meaning you won't achieve each of these habits overnight. But be patient with yourself. Take one step at a time. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. A strong hug. May God be with you and see you next time. I hope you found this video amazing and useful. Remember, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our videos. See you next time. The answer lies in our daily choices and habits. Financial outcomes are often a reflection of our financial habits. To become wealthy, we must cultivate habits that lead to wealth. The Bible, a source of timeless wisdom, outlines specific habits that can guide us to financial prosperity. In this video, we'll explore these enriching habits supported by biblical teachings and show you how incorporating them into your life can pave the way for financial success. Before we dive in, it's important to note that the Bible does not promise financial wealth to anyone not even to the most devout believers. Therefore, we should not expect to become wealthy simply by following these principles. However, those who adhere to the Bible's financial guidance are more likely to achieve a fulfilling and prosperous life, both spiritually and materially. By aligning your financial practices with biblical wisdom, you can enhance your chances of attaining financial stability and success. In today's video, we'll cover the five enriching habits inspired by the Bible. 1. Live below your means. Embrace the discipline of spending less than you earn. 2. Have multiple sources of income. Diversify your income streams to secure your financial future. 3. Build an emergency fund. Prepare for unforeseen circumstances with a dedicated financial reserve. 4. Invest wisely. Grow your wealth through smart investments. 5. Seek wisdom, pursue knowledge, and apply it practically to your financial decisions. Each of these habits has the potential to significantly improve your financial situation. While adopting these habits won't happen overnight, Consistent effort and patience will bring about meaningful change. If you find value in the content we share, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel, leave a like, and share this video with your church group, family, and friends. Your support helps us reach more people and spread the invaluable lessons found in the Bible. Stay tuned and let's embark on this journey to financial prosperity together, guided by the wisdom of the scriptures. Thank you for being a part of the Bartos to Bible Stories, the community. God bless and let's get started.